Good morning. morning. Welcome to Seven for Sevens. You know, let's go to the throne. <clears throat> Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We ask God that your will would be uh, done here, Lord, on earth. Lord, that you would empower us, your people, Heavenly Father. Lord, that you would encourage our hearts, Lord, that you would heal the brokenhearted. Yes. Lord, I'm just praying, Heavenly Father, Lord, that we, your people, the body of Christ would look to you because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Continue to build our faith up and glorify yourself in all things. In Jesus' name in we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, good morning. We have been talking about don't lose the fight. Amen. You know, trying to give you principles to live by. Amen. Amen. And I believe some of our principles to live by, you know, is, is why God has created Heart for the World. Heart for the World is a place where you live, where you love, and where you learn kingdom, kingdom principles. principles. Amen. Amen. We are, we believe that the name reveals the nature. God has caused Heart for the World to be a place where every ethnos, every group, if you will, is, is, is welcome. You know what I mean? Amen. And um, we believe that we should have a reach across the world. That's but right. in the but, but every group that is here in the local area, they're welcome to come and to be a part of Heart Amen. for the World. Amen. And so we just say to God be the glory, amen, because God has caused us to build people. Amen. And that's our desire, to build people, amen. Well, go with me, if you will, to 1 Samuel 17, uh, verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had even a script and his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the philistine and the philistine came on and drew near unto david Amen. and the man that bare his shield went before him verse 45 then said david to the philistine Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Come on. David said, look, hey, look, you, you, got, you, you got this big old shield, big enough that a man has to carry, come right? On. And, you know, because he realized, Goliath realized he was a big target, right? So he had, to, had a big old shield so much that he could duck behind. And, um, you know, he had all his weaponry. Yes. And not only that, just his massive size seemed That's to right. um, overwhelm any army that would come against them. Amen. Well, I'm here to let you know this. You know, see, David came and he came. Some would have said unarmed, but he had five smooth stones because yeah. Goliath had five or four other brothers. So there were really five giants, and he was preparing for all of them. But this is what David did. He came with the preparation. Come on. And not only did he come with the preparation, but he came with the perception and the participation. Patience. So the preparation happened long before the, the battle. Come on. The preparation began when David was in the shepherd's field. That's right. Protecting, if you will, his daddy's sheep. That's right. From a lion and a bear. And so and so David was there and he was preparing for battle. Come on. And then and then he comes with the perception. You know, rather than seeing this giant big and overwhelming, he came and he he had faith. You know what I mean? He had the faith to speak to the mountain yes. and and didn't doubt in his heart. Right, because he knew that God had used him and saved him from something that was, you know, would have caused most people to run. A lion and a bear came after the sheep, but David was able to preserve the sheep, if you will, by himself. Well, physically by himself, yeah, but exactly. through the power of God. Amen. And so, you know, that's why it's important that when we have those big mountains in our life, when we see those things that are insurmountable, that are just 
too big for us to deal with, that we feel like we just can't handle it. You've got to know that God has really already prepared you in your heart and your mind. If you've been in the word and you know that God is God, you are prepared, but it's just a matter of stepping out in faith and believing that God will have you in whatever the situation is. There are so many things that come at us in life that seem like they're bigger than what we know what to do with, you know, but God, God is always there and he's always faithful. And so just like David, you need to prepare. He grabbed five smooth, uh, uh, smooth stones. You need to prepare. You need to grab the word of God. Get you five good scriptures to throw back at the enemy. Mm. Amen. Get you five scriptures that you can stand on that will tear his head off by just speaking the word of God. All you got to do is give God back his word. The very thing that God said to you that he promised us, give him back his word because God's not obligated to perform our word, but he is obligated to perform his word. Amen. So get your word. And that's what we throw back at that enemy. That's what we throw back at that mountain, that thing that seems like it's too big for us. Stand Stand on the word of God in faith, believing, trusting, not wavering, and watch God move just uh, for you, just like he moved for David. You have to constantly remind yourself that you must speak the word come of on, God. Come on. You need to homologeo, which means to speak the same thing. That's right. But the problem is, is that too many of us are homologeoing the same thing that others have spoken or, or instead spoken. of what God has spoken. Amen. You know, and, and, and then there's another law. You know, a law is a fixed principle that cannot be negotiated or debated, right? And so this is the deal. The law, if you will, takes effect. Yes. And what's the law? The law is that death and life is in the power Come of on. the tongue. So when you speak something, you That's give right. it life, That's right? right? You or you speak death Hallelujah. to it. So when you speak the words that others have said, rather than the words that God has Come said, on. you breathe life on those words. And God, and so you have to constantly remind yourself because we're constantly being bombarded by all of this negative negativity if you will we live in a world of of uh, you know chaos, chaos yes. right uh, negative gravity it's constantly trying to pull us down but if we come to the place that we can speak god's word come on. if we come to the place that we can have the faith to speak to the mountain it will be cast into the sea Amen. if we have no doubt so you must believe god's word now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not, not seen. seen. God can do more than you can ever imagine. Yes. Amen. Yes. More than you can ever ask. All you got to do is believe. Amen. So we just have to stand on the word of God. Know that God is God and that he's always going to have us. Doesn't mean that you might not be a little bit uncomfortable, but sometimes you just have to step out of yourself. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, God has called us not to just care about yourself, but care about somebody else. You know, we love our children and our grandchildren and all of those kind of things. Sometimes you have to do something for somebody else, amen, to make that mountain move. Step out of, it's not about you, amen, but it's all about him. And so we want you to have a blessed day and we will see you tomorrow. And so before you go, just remember this, you got to have the perception, Come on. the preparation, and the participation. Be amen. willing to get in the battle. Amen. Be willing to do what God has called you to do. Don't run from the battle. But speak to there that uncircumcised go. Philistine, the word of God, Amen. and let God be glorified Amen. in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. We'll see you next time. Amen.